joins us. Um, great, great day for you, Paul. We're all so pleased for you. Jim, I, I'm just the proudest guy in Australia today. I really, really am. I mean, you guys know more than anything how much I dreamed of something like this. And what a place to do it here in Australia. You've done it in your home city, but take a deep breath and just tell us what two points means to your team, to Minardi. Well, it means everything. I mean, it means TV money, it means, you know, top ten position. I mean, here we are, start of the year, and already we've fulfilled our entire year's criteria. Jim, it doesn't get any better than this. The champagne's going to be flowing for a long, long time at Minardi tonight. The reception we've had, even Michael stopped to say thank you, know, to say congratulate me. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. It just doesn't. And for you to do it uh, in your home city, the local boy made good. I mean, it's a fairy story, really. It really is. And, you know, it's, it's been a long, hard road. But, my God, I am so proud. I am so, so proud. Now, be honest, Paul, when you came here, cracky, and you waved the flag when, when, when the jet landed and everything, but uh, be honest to us, you, you, did, you can't have expected to score points here. Well, I have to admit, yesterday I asked the crowd to do a rain dance in qualifying, and <laughs> they did it, and then after that, bugger me, we got these <laughs> points. I mean, I just can't believe that it's just all... It's, it is a dream, it's a dream. I mean, someone's going to have to pinch me and tell me that it's, you know, that it's not just a dream. And what about uh, what your man, another Australian, of course, Mark Webber, has done for you in his first Formula One race? Well, he's really showed that my faith in him, both in 2000 and now, is justified. The guy, the guy is a... Mark. <laughs> yeah, the he, guy is a real racer, and he's about to join us here. He, he can't hear you. It's Jim Rosenthal and teaching all the guys. Say hello. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, what a day. I wish he was here. <laughs> Unbelievable to finish my first Grand Prix in the points and I've got to thank this guy here, as, uh, he's trying to help this small team get to the front and uh, we've got to enjoy this moment but we've got the rest of the season ahead of us as well and uh, this is a great start for us. Thanks. Paul, just turn the interviewer down there for us and ask him about the scrap with Salo at the end and his feelings, could you? How did you feel when Salo came up behind you and we said at any cost don't let him pass and then you saw him <laughs> spin in the background? <laughs> When, the, when you guys are saying, don't let him pass, don't let him pass, I'm going, hang on, we want a point, but we, we're fighting us. So I was a bit of a wounded bull at that stage. I obviously had completely no diff pressure. I was worried about the slow corners because that's where I thought he would have got me. But uh, I just kept my line and uh, I was going to make him work for it. Don't worry, get him on the marbles if I could or whatever, but uh, he's fun. So, uh, I have to say, Jim, there was a few cheers here in this pit lane and, uh, when that, when, you know, I mean, I love Mecker, he's a great driver, but when he spun, I think this is one time, you know, nobody was too sorry to see it happen. Um, you, you've got to, the next one in a couple of weeks' time, both of you. Um, is, you're going to be sometime leaving this city, though, aren't you? I don't think either of us are going to move from here for a few days. We get through the celebrations <laughs> first. Uh, tonight could be serious. I've got an early plane to catch, but I'll probably be missing that one, I think. Listen, all, many... play, all playing fights from Minardi are cancelled as of now for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we feel so good for you up here. Many congratulations and, and we appreciate you joining us down there. Anytime, guys, anytime. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Well done, Paul. Okay.